is credited with inventing the stiletto? I think that that answer also is debatable. My very strong feelings is that it was Roger Vivier, but there are competing camps who favor Ser uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, Beth Levine. Perugia. That was the man who did the stiletto. People say Roger Vivier. No, 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 no. In premier lieu, Roger Vivier était reconnu pour uh, la modernité de son dessin. Il a beaucoup, beaucoup travaillé les formes, les silhouettes, les talons. Il était à l'origine de, de l'introduction du talon aiguille. It was Perugia. My father, Salvatore Ferragamo, invented not only the stiletto, but many of the shoes that we still see around these days. You think I'm so smart, but you're afraid to start. He created for Marilyn Monroe a very special shoe with a very high heel and it was the essence of the stiletto shoe, which has become since ever, I mean, a classic uh, style in his collection and in many collections, of course. The stiletto he has made for uh, Marilyn Monroe it was just really to give her a way of walking, which is the famous twinkling of uh, Marilyn Monroe. And you can only do that if you have a very high heel. This is a Ferragamo heel. I would say it was a stiletto, but when you consider height and thinness of the heel, somebody like Roger Vivier, Ferragamo was an amazing shoemaker, but his brilliance is different than Roger Vivier's. Roger Vivier's brilliance is related to the fineness of his details, such as the thinness of the heels that he created. We're talking matters of degree here. I favor Roger Vivier over Ferragamo. Aujourd'hui, c'est pas très important de savoir si c'est Roger Vivier ou Ferragamo. Je pense que l'un et l'autre ont apporté beaucoup de choses dans ce domaine à l'époque en termes de silhouette et de modernité. Yeah, 